Hello everyone. I will show you how to calculate uh, climate indices uh, like SPI, SPEI, PET, potential evapotranspiration, PDSI, SCI, PDSI, etc. etc. So these are all helpful to monitor the climate and for research. So uh we will use this uh, climate indices tool in python so we need to install these tools before we, before we uh, install these tools uh we need to download this uh, data from there so i, I will I, I will give the download uh, download link just below the video and i will i will give you the command that will uh, help you to calculate these indices so uh, first you need to uh, download this uh, file so it, when you finish downloading this file then you will see uh, from this file uh, you need to unzip first this is a zip file so you need to unzip then you will find this folder there climate indices this is the uh, main computational package you, you see uh, you will see the climate indices you will find this climate indices this is the palmar then uh, we will use the netcdf file and different methods to compute this climate indices so then uh, you will find also the script folder here you will find the script to calculate these indices and here the data but in the main file from this file you will find this as example inputs that's mean this is a data set so i i rename this uh, folder to data so in this folder you will find the input data uh, which we will we, 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 uh, we'll use for uh, calculation so from these uh, tools, we can easily calculate uh, potential evapotranspiration, then SPI, SPEI, Palmer drought indices, etc., etc. So I will I will show you uh, step by step. So when you finish uh, the download, when you finish downloading this file, then you need to unzip. Then you need to create Python environment. So in this example it is for anaconda so i have the anaconda i think you uh, you already have the anaconda but if you don't have the anaconda in your computer uh, please see my please watch my video that that is uh, on how to install python in anaconda so you need to uh, here uh, in the base bash shell you, you need to create like conda create these indices you need to copy you need to copy this line and paste here then press enter but i will not press enter because i already uh, created this environment so for your case you need to follow this step so you, you need to copy uh, this step then you need to activate this indices environment then uh <clears throat> okay so uh from sorry when you uh, download this file from this folder you just unzip but you need to follow uh the step from this uh, website so first you create the environment for climate indices then you need to activate by using this command then you need to install the climate indices this one the pip install climate indices so you need to use this one to then you need to uh, use this one nco nco for net cdf operators like we can use nco cdo this is uh, this is the tool this is the tool that uh, that is very helpful for net cdf data data sets so then we need to indice this processing when you done when you have done this process uh, then uh you can calculate these indices so this is the step indices process you need to write this one 
the process climate indices then options from options you need to put the index index mean the you can calculate the spi spi etc etc so i will show you how to fill these options and i will give you the common line uh, for you so you, uh, you you just copy this common line and put like here this is a common line for paid monthly calculation so i will describe what is this uh, line is so uh, you need to just copy i will this the common line in my video description so you just copy and paste on your anaconda anaconda so you can calculate so before we uh, for, uh, run this uh, command we need to change our working directory like here i have given the name as data but when you uh, unzip this folder you will get the example input so it's up to you you, you can rename this folder or you can keep this folder as uh, an example in push. so it's up to you so we are here so we need to uh, change our directory so i'm in the if so if directory then if colon then uh, so i'm there then cd cd means change uh, directories then indices python then data so i am there so we need to uh, uh come here to calculate this indices so now let me describe this indices uh so okay let me open with notepad command line okay so you see this is you have to write every time process climate indices so this command will help you to calculate the indices then the option index which index do you want to calculate it can be pet it can be spi it can be spei it can be palmers right okay then the pure uh, periodicity uh, so what is the periodicity that it is saying the time is curve right so i wanted to make a video for the time scale so I was so busy, so I will try to make a, a video that will uh, help you to understand the time scales. Okay, so uh, here you can use the monthly, daily, so it's up to you. It depends on your need. So then the option is net CDF, like net CDF with temperature. It can be temperature, it can be precipitation. Uh, so these are data set. So net CDF temperature data. So this is mean dot slash means in this directory. In this directory, I have this file nc lim grid lower tc. You can see here uh, from this directory, I have this. Uh, yeah, you see this is the file. So I have this file in this directory. So here I put the dot slash dot slash means in this directory. Right? You can change also, you can put this data in another directory, it's up to you, but uh, uh, this is a slash do, uh, dot slash means in this directory, so you can put your input data here, then uh, you already know in NetCDF file you have the variable's name, right? So you need to check the what uh, the variable name so the variable name term so t average it can be a uh, prcp so it depends on your data file you need to check before uh, input uh, your data in uh, python so uh, you need to check your variable name so for, for this file the variable name is t average right then you want to save when you finish the input file like you are putting the input file to get the output so I need, we'll get the output. So you need to put the output uh, directory. Like this is dot dot. This is one dot slash means in this directory. But what does it mean? The two dot slash. Two dot slash means uh, it uh, like it one step back. One step back means we are in here date right. So one step back. Then we have this results folder right. That's mean one step back then it will come uh, to 
the results this folder so in this folder this means we want to get the output in results folder that's why we uh, we put their uh, double dot the slash means one step back and go to the results folder and you can put the name a name here the fi output file name you can you, you can give the output file name so uh, it's up to you which uh, name do you want to give here so then this is the finish then calibration start year and ending year so you have the data right so you need to put the year from which year to which year do you want to calculate? So here, okay, calibration uh, start year is 1951, then end year is 2010. So this is the meaning of this command line. So I think it will help you to understand. Understanding is the key. Like if you if you search in Google, you will find many tools to calculate these indices, but it's uh, what is important is to understand this code and understand this process. That's mean the, uh, uh, the computer programming and data science, right? So I think uh, it will help you to calculate these indices. So you just copy this and paste it. So I will show you how. Now we are there, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I have already opened this Python code. So I'm there in data folder, right? So here I will just copy this line. I want to calculate the pet. So I will just copy this command line, sorry. Uh, okay, I'm there, command line. So just I will copy this line. Okay. Just I will copy this line and I will paste here. I paste here, then just enter. You can calculate. Just you see, they started the calculation. So when you finish, you will get the output here in this results folder. It's, it's saying the start time from ON, then information about information about computing potential evapotranspiration. So it will take time, like you see, I have already calculated this page and my output as a NetCDF file is there, right? Then if I want to calculate the SPI, okay, daily or monthly, whatever you want. So I just copy and I will just paste here, enter. So I will get the SPI now, you see, it's calculating the SPI. You see here? Oh. It's very easy if you know the process, right? Uh, I just spent last night to to learn this process because I didn't use the Python uh, to calculate these indices. So someone uh, from Iraq has made a comment on my YouTube channel and he wanted to know how to calculate this climate indices in Python. So I, I then realized, okay, it is very important to uh, learn how to calculate this. I think in this video, from this video, uh, you can learn how to calculate these indices and in, you can use this um, process, like use this tool to calculate these uh, indices and you can use in your research so you can publish your scientific paper right you see is there already spi six month 12 month so this is the all like pr shown and gamma you will learn this thing hello guys i think uh, it's our uh, it's now on the OA to calculate the other uh, other indices so you can follow these uh, steps to calculate the other indices and i will give you the common line so you just uh, copy this command line and just paste and enter but be careful before you calculate these indices you need to follow this step very well first download this file then unzip then you need to follow this process you need to configure your python environment right 
otherwise you can't calculate these indices so uh, thank you guys for watching my uh, video and uh, hopefully we can meet for uh, meet for other video so please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and thank you bye bye